What's up guys, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. Today I'm going to be cooking up some Spam tacos on my Blackstone griddle with some homemade pico de gallo and guacamole, so stay tuned. Hello guys, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue here. Hi right, folks, welcome back. So what I've got here is I've got two cans of Spam and I want to show you how I'm going to dice this up. I just sliced it up guys this way here. Okay, about half inch thick, just like so. And then I take that and just cut it into three strips, like so. And at this point, just make nice little squares. They don't have to be perfect. Some are going to be smaller than others, but this is the size that I want, okay? Nice little cubes, and those are going to get nice and crunchy on the Blackstone Grill with the uh, olive oil on top of it. So let me run over the ingredient list here real quick, guys. I've got two jalapenos, one serrano pepper. The reason I'm adding the serrano pepper, uh, pepper is because sometimes the jalapenos are not hot or spicy enough for me, so I want to add one of those just to give it a little bit of extra heat. I've got two limes, two heads of garlic here or two cloves of garlic. I'm going to use about maybe a quarter of this onion, one tomato, and one avocado. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and chop up the rest of this spam, and, and I'm going to dice up my ingredients. Once I have everything diced up, I'll bring you guys back. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. So I've got all my ingredients chopped. I got my spam uh, chopped off, the two cans again. I've got the two jalapenos, the one serrano chopped up. I got that one tomato, and about a quarter of an onion about equal parts as you can see here and I'm going to show you how I'm going to put this together and traditional pico de gallo guys that's all you want in your pico de gallo okay you don't need to get fancy and put other stuff on it I mean you can put whatever you want but traditional pico de gallo these are all the ingredients that you need to end up with a good pico de gallo so I'm just going to put everything in a small bowl here and the jalapenos that I chopped up smelled really spicy so I can tell you right out of the gate that this pico de gallo is going to be really really hot so got my two limes here I like to roll them on your counter get them nice and juicy cut them in half there you go and then just squeeze the lime oh excuse me my hands were wet. <laughs> That's a blooper. <laughs> so go ahead and squeeze your your limes into your pico de gallo. Just like so. Get all that juice in there. Mmm. All right, guys, the next step, get a little bit of kosher salt. Just put it in there just like that. And mix it all up. You can see here. So, guys, this is your traditional pico de gallo. That's it. Okay. And the lemon, I'm sorry, the lime will help preserve and keep the color of your pico de gallo and it also takes the the strong flavor of the onions away okay so there I have it nice and mixed the next step is to get my avocado show you how I cut my avocados I've had this one for a couple days I'm, I'm hoping it's still good on the inside no, I'm not going to use this one. I got a backup avocado. I always have a backup plan. You might be able to eat half of that avocado, guys, but I don't want to do that. So I like to cut my avocados in half. Let me show you a little bit, a little trick here. Take your knife, spin it, and your avocado seed comes off. 
Don't throw that away, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So I'm just going to get another bowl, take the avocado out, just like so. Ooh, this avocado is nice and creamy, nice big avocado. Okay, if you have a little bit of uh, lime juice left over, go ahead and put that in there. Need a bit more. I'll keep dropping the this piece there. Okay. This will also help preserve the color of the avocado. Next step, real simple. If you have a garlic press, put your garlic in here. Press it in there. Sometimes these take work. Just push it all in there. And what you want is that garlic that's coming out of the bottom side. You don't want these big pieces in there. But I just, I just keep shoving that into my garlic press get it all to come out. Actually, that's a lot of garlic, guys. That was a pretty big garlic clove, so I'm only going to use one. Okay? Just like that. Again, a little bit of salt. Just like that. And mix it all up. And guys, that is a secret to really good guacamole. A lot of people will put the pico de gallo inside their guacamole. Not me. I like to, I like to have everything separate. Okay, remember I said not to throw the avocado seed away? Put that in there. Especially if you're making a bunch of avocado. That would help preserve the avocado itself so it doesn't turn brown or black on you. And so will the, uh, the lime that we put in there. So there you have it, guys. So I just fired up my Blackstone grill. I'm going to go ahead and put my spam on there, and I'll bring you guys back. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back. So I've got my two burners on the right side, which is probably your left. I've got them on a, on a low to medium. And the ones on the left side, I've, I've got them on extremely low. That's the side that I'm going to warm up my tortillas in. So I got a little bit of olive oil. Just throw some down. Just like so. And go ahead and drop your spam. Just like that. Guys, and spam is already cooked. You can eat it right out of the can. I don't know who would do that. I like to fry it up a little bit. To this, guys, you can add your favorite rubs. I'm actually going to use some of the Victory Lane uh, beef rub and seasoning. Really good stuff. Just sprinkle a little bit on there. Oh man, it smells amazing already. Just like so. Guys, and this Spam is a light Spam. It's got less sodium, less fat. Um, we've had this, uh, the low sodium, low fat Spam. And honestly, it tastes exactly like the 100% pure Spam, so we choose to, to stick to this one. It's a little bit healthier for you. So I'm just going to let this brown up a little bit, guys. Let it get a little bit crispy on the outside, and I'll bring you guys back when it's almost done. So stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome back. My Spam is almost ready, getting a little crispy on the outside. So we're just a couple minutes from, from this being done. So while this prepares, Oops, we lost, uh, hit that switch, will you, baby? We lost a little bit of light here. Uh, the top one. That one. That's it. There you go. All right. We got some light back. So I'm actually in the garage, guys. It's windy out there. It's cold. So decided to, again, do it in the garage. I kind of like doing this in the garage, too. So I've got three corn tortillas, guys. You can buy the ones at the store. But quite honestly, there's got to be a little Mexican market in your area. Get the, the fresh ones. They show up in an in a ice chest. They're made, usually made that day. They're just so much better. So I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on this side. And I'm not going to get the tortillas crispy. I just want to warm them up in a little bit of olive oil. It gives it a really nice flavor. Just rub it in the oil, flip it, 
Rub it in the oil, move it to the side. Okay? Just like this. Nothing fancy, move it to the side. Rub it in the oil, move it to the side, and just warm them up like you normally would. So I'm just going to watch those, just get them nice and warm. These uh, Mexican tortillas, guys, these corn tortillas are a little bit thicker than the ones that you get at your store. And quite honestly, the ones at the store, they taste like plastic to me, so I try to stay away from that stuff. This is just so much better. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the spam off. It's, it's just about ready, guys. I'm going to finish warming up the tortillas, and we're going to put this amazing meal together, so stay tuned. All right, guys, we are back, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to assemble these tacos here. So these are really neat plates, guys. If you guys don't have these, really neat plates to have, especially for Taco Tuesday night. So I've got my, my tortillas nice and warm. I'm going to grab a little bit of the Spam. Oh, my garage smells amazing, guys. Oh, man, it smells good in here. So put a little bit of Spam in, into each tortilla here. Just like so. The Spam has a good crunch on the outside. Okay. So far, so good. And at this point, I'm going to put a little bit of avocado into each taco. Just like that. It's got that garlic, the lime in there. This is a really good looking avocado. It's nice, nice and uh, creamy. Okay, just like that. Get your pico de gallo. Mix it up. Get some of that lemon in there. Put it on top of like that. Oh, baby. Looks good. I hope this is as spicy as it smells. Okay, just like that. At this point, get some shredded cheese. Just a little bit like that, over the top. And the last ingredient is some of this Mexican sour cream, okay? Just like that. Make sure each taco gets some of that. All right, guys, we'll give this a taste test, so stay tuned. All right, folks, we're back, and there's nothing left but to give these Spam Tacos a, a good old taste test, my favorite part of cooking. So just pick up the taco. The shell holds together, guys, when you put a little bit of oil on that griddle. Let's give this a taste test. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. The jalapenos are spicy, which is really, really good. Guys, hope you guys like this video. Um, this is a quick, easy meal on a Taco Tuesday night or any night of the week. If you haven't had Spam tacos before, you got to give these a shot. Spam is one of those meats that people either love it or hate it. I love it. It's good. Try this recipe. I highly recommend it. Until next time, Joe is Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.